morning everybody even though it's 2 30 in the afternoon of course we've been working on our sleep and uh, well we're just going to go to the shops now and buy some ingredients to uh, cook some food but we were just walking along and we found this kinder surprise toy it's a boys one and it was unopened it's been sitting on the stairwell for like five or six days now and I decided to pick it up because Singapore's such a clean place and I didn't want it to have any litter so let's see what you get inside one of these things oh wow oh no it's got instructions wow. oh. should I make it yeah we'll take it home and make it later anyway, let's go to the shops Oop. Oh no, a durian fair. I told you they have a fair for everything here. They got a fair for everything, even the most evil, horrible fruit of all time. No, don't push me in. It looks like you can taste it. They got like no, tissues it, and buckets for bite, throwing up in. You bite and you eat it here. Oh, no thanks. It hey, hey, hey. Very friendly. They're trying to suck me in to taste that evil, evil fruit. But everybody wants you to do it. Oh, you can Uber eats durian. Uber eats durian? Crazy. Right, well, we just found a fruit shop and, um, well, we're just looking at stuff and have a look at these things. Now, I don't know what they are, but they're, you know, fairly heavy. They look like rocks or a big mushroom or something got no smell if you know what they are let us know down below because I've got no idea I think I have to walk sideways down these aisles these are the narrowest aisles <laughs> that I've ever come across oh look at this I'm literally wedged in because of my massive Aussie frame <laughs> not built for these tiny little Asian supermarkets Ugh. Ugh. so remember the other day I was showing you the things that uh, the Chinese like burning well here's some more so we've got like bicycles here we've got some cars we've got an aeroplane and look and here are some servants for your ancestors to have up in heaven Look at this, they also have like food, coffee, Milo, tea. All made of paper. This is all made of paper, by the way, oh, all, all cardboard. Seafood. Oh, seafood. Here's a seafood platter for them. All made of cardboard for you to burn for them. Jewelry here. iPad. Shirts. <laughs> oh, yeah, iPad there. We got a shave set here. We got some cigarettes as well. And look, shirt, uh, shoes and handbags as well. Dresses, more shoes and clothes. Chanel. Is this Chanel? This one. Oh, Chanel handbag. All made of cardboard. Oh, and a shoe set. This handbag one. and shoes. All just for burning to send up to the ancestors. <laughs> it's lunch time. We thought we'd just come in for a bit of a snack. And we've got chicken rice. Love chicken rice. My favorite. Especially the rice. Three dollars fifty it cost. Right. Have a look at that. And the soup, of course. So, what's this? Ginger. Yep. Oh, that's too much. So we put some ginger. Put some chicken rice, chili. A little bit of soy sauce here. Dark soy sauce. What is it? Dark soy sauce. Oh, dark soy sauce. What's thick? Yeah. With a spoon. Oh, spoon, that's right. You always eat rice with a spoon. Ah, I always eat rice with a spoon. There's a tip for you guys who have trouble piling it on your fork. Spoons and rice. 
Makes sense now, doesn't it? Now I put this on my Facebook page on the Greg Skitchell one and ask people what they thought it was. A lot of people thought it was squid. Some thought it was cum. Uh, others thought it was, what else? An alien. An alien? Uh, there was, um, what's it, jackfruit? Uh, no, somebody's uh, dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Yeah, it does look like dragon fruit, but they're actually seeds of a... Basil. Oh, basil seeds. But it is soursop, and soursop's a fruit. And so I tell you what, it's like a custardy apple-y sort of citrusy flavour. But I mean, you squeeze the lime on it. I tell you what, this stuff is like so good. Squeeze heaps of lime on it. The lime really makes it taste awesome. Yeah, you can find it in most food courts. That's right. Now mix it together. I can't wait to eat this. And it's really chewy. Oh shit. It's really chewy as well, the fruit. And it's so sweet, full of vitamin C. This one's very seedy. Oh. But the outside of them is really chewy. And it's just so sweet. Such a beautiful fruity flavor. And that's shaved ice, by the way, that it's on. But this fruit here. Mm, so delicious. We should go and plant this in the roof garden and grow our own tree. We'll do that. Here comes the tray return person. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Now somebody in yesterday's video asked if I, there was vegetarian food here and yes, this is a vegetarian food stall and it's just full of good vegetarian food. I actually quite like the food here. I wanted it for lunch today but Bernice didn't want it. <laughs> we are now up on the roof garden because I wanted to make a video but I need a garnish. So I thought we'd come and borrow a garnish of some of some sort hey what are you eating hmm what would be a good garnish to borrow <sighs> hey if we need some lime leaves for a recipe hmm maybe some up there now they don't really have anything the dog's hoeing into mint that looks like yum but I think this is some Thai basil here, which if I just hold it like that, it might fall off into my hand. Oh no, it broke off. Ah, oh, well I might as well take this home now. Okay, well, just finished filming tomorrow's Greg's Kitchen video. Yes, I do have another channel. It's called Greg's Kitchen. I do cooking and vlogs. No, not vlogs. Food reviews. That's right. And I haven't been doing many cooking videos lately, but I thought I'd make a delicious dish of this prawn something. I'll be editing the video tonight. It'll be uploaded tomorrow. Make sure you're watching. I'm not going to eat it now. Do you know why? I will grab a little bit. Oh, no. Ah, goodness me. Mmm. Let me just get some of this sauce. Mmm. Because... I'm gonna go and play, shoot some hoots for basketball. I need to get my exercise in for the day. Yeah. Sit. Sit, good girl. All right, well, here I am. Should be me versus these guys, right? Getting better, I swear.
Exercise throwing hoops, everyone should just go down. Make sure you're wearing a knee brace or something, you know, because your knees will buckle and you'll probably end up sitting down there more than standing up here. Now, I don't have a knee brace on because, mate, they're for pussies, all right? So, but I'll tell you what, I cannot walk upstairs anymore. I have to catch the lift, so there you go. I deserve a nice little G&T to finish off the day. Mm, where's that line? Oh, wow, I got three sets of hands. Thanks for watching, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh.